Look. Yeah. Mom, stop. Stop. Mom! Stop! <laughs> stop. Go! Stop! I can't. I can't. Mom! I have to sit here now. <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy Benny. You ever been going through a tough time and you're like, I don't want toxic people around me right now. It's not gonna be helpful if my crazy, drunk, wine aunt visits with her pride progress flag and her bag of wine, box of wine. And she's like, everyone needs to spend money in Ukraine. Nobody wants that. I'm going through it right now. Don't need the extra drama. And that's exactly what Israel is saying. <laughs> and the drunk wine aunt is Voldemort Zelensky. Voldemort Zelensky, of course, wanted to go to Israel in order to pick up more bags of cash from the American taxpayer, show solidarity. What does that mean? That means solidarity of bank accounts. Everyone spend more moolah. Spend more mullahs and more moolahs over here. Put it into my bank account, baby. So the number one grifter on planet Earth, I mean, Zelensky is... Zelensky should be a pariah. He should never be allowed in any uh, respectable... Uh, uh, groups of governing bodies ever. He's betrayed his own people. He's betrayed our people. Now there's reports coming out that the Pentagon is furious that he's been lying the entire time, that they made the most moronic tactical decisions and wasted American and NATO firepower. Anyway, he just, it, like, Zelensky's at, uh, having a bad way. Notice how nobody's talking about the war in Ukraine anymore. Nobody. It's got, it's, the, Israel solved the war in Ukraine. Nobody's even talked about it. They might as well have already struck a peace deal, which is the next thing that's going to happen here. Uh, America has been utterly and totally uh, violated by this cretinous little scumbag. And now is not the time, uh, according to Israeli news. Zelensky denied visit to Israel. How bad is it when, like, a war zone country that's... No, by the way, Israel not having a great news cycle right now says, no, no, sir, you are way too toxic. You, wine aunt, with your box of wine, get the hell off my yard with your no hate allowed here sign. In this house, in this house, we launder money and buy our daughters gold-plated Bentleys. The revelation comes as sources in Jerusalem say that they are expecting a President Biden visit to Israel soon. Of course, don't let a crisis go to waste. He, Joe Biden, of course, created this conflict by funding Iran and Hamas and Hezbollah. But, you know, let's, let's invite him here anyway. Guy can't stand. Guy can't speak. He'll totally be a great help. Ukraine's President Voldemort Zelensky intended to make a solidarity visit to Israel to show support for the nation at war against Hamas, but was told now is not the time. According to Hebrew language media, no further explanation uh, was given. Since October 7th, Ukraine's President Zelensky, who is Jewish, has been vocally supporting Israel and insisting on indisputable rights to protect citizens against Hamas. Terror is always a crime, uh, not just one against one country's specific victims, but against humanity as a whole. What about the terrorism that you've engaged in against your own people, Zelensky? Zelensky has, of course, made free speech illegal, have shut down all the courts, have shut down a bunch of private businesses, has shut down all the media, has shut down elections. Zelensky said he's not going to hold elections. Oh, okay, so are those crimes against your own people? Yeah, the answer is yes. This doesn't, of course, make me in favor of Russia. This is simply, simply is like, we're not backing Russia. Look, I don't want us to back anyone in this fight. We're not supporting Russia. So, like, I, I don't get it. Like, we're supporting Hamas. We're supporting Ukraine. We're supporting Hezbollah. We're supporting Iran. We just unfroze $6 billion for Iran. Are we the baddies? Yeah, yeah, we are. Like, again, you can chew gum and walk at the same time. Like, I can be against all of these things. I'm against all of these things. Okay? And I'm against American interventionism, period. Israel turns down Zelensky's request to make solidarity visit. Not the right time. Yeah, not the right time to have you come schlepping over the border, begging for more cash. The only reason Zelensky wants to visit is because he thinks there's going to be a couple extra piles, of, a couple of extra bags of greenbacks there in Israel. He, he's going there to go sniff up like, hey, some extra foreign foreign aid money here for me? Huh? Huh? Ukraine is freaking out. McCarthy chaos is threatening U.S. aid. After the ousting of uh, Speaker McCarthy, there is a concern in Kiev that uh, Ukraine has become a tool of U.S. diplomatic policy. Oh, you think? Oh, you think? Ukraine's become a tool for Americans to effectively just money launder to themselves? It's precisely what's happening. 
Jim Jordan was asked if he's going to keep funding the war in Ukraine, and soon-to-be Speaker Jim Jordan said, "What about Ukraine? Are you what, what, are you willing to move forward with an aid package for Ukraine if you're Speaker?" I'm I'm, I'm against that. Uh, what I understand is, at some point, we're going to have to deal with this appropriation process in the right way. And we're going to try to do that in the next, what, what are we down to, 41 days. Um, the most pressing issue on Americans' minds is not Ukraine. It is the border that? situation, and yes. it's crime on the streets. And That's right. And it's answers like that that has Zelensky shook. Now, Zelensky is really great when he's on his right meds and on his right uppers and downers. And he's all balanced out. And he's got a giant teleprompter in front of him. Nancy Pelosi is waving a Ukrainian flag with Kamala Harris at the floor of our house, something that should be illegal. They should both be in prison for that. Shouldn't be allowed to wave foreign flags inside of our government buildings. Um, but I guess that just proves that Ukraine is just simply a client state of our State Department, which we shouldn't have client states around the world. Again, this is like anathema to how America was founded. Like the purpose of our country was actually to stay out of foreign entanglements. Read George Washington's farewell address. Uh, Zelensky's shook, though, man. Look at this recent clip of Zelensky uh, trying to speak to the press in Europe. With the United States, I've been in Washington this year, and uh, I had a meeting with President Biden, and I had and uh, heard uh, his 100% support in the White House and also a support by 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 bipartisan support in in Congress, I think it's it's important important of of, of course, of course. Uh, the hell is wrong with you, dude? A difficult um, election period for for the for the United States. Different voices. Some of the voices are very strange oh. about this. Also, we will we will speak about this. But uh, today and uh, some of the voices are very strange. Well, let me, let me. What about your voice? Zelensky, what have you been using your voice to do recently? Well, you uh, uh, maybe part of the reason why Israel would be a little bit cautious about having you come here is that you just saluted a Nazi. You just stood up and saluted a Nazi. You some of the people that were uh, murdered in the Hamas attacks in Israel were Holocaust survivors. And Zelensky uh, was up in Canada just like two weeks ago cheering for Nazis. Being like, hey, hey, dude, great job. Zelensky joins Canadian Parliament in ovation for 89-year-old Nazi veteran. The man was part of a SS unit who has a history, uh, has been whitewashed by the West. But what did he do? This is the man right here. He committed war crimes against the Jews and the Poles, for that matter. If you need a uh, little refresher, here's effectively what happened with, uh, you know, <laughs> with voiceover added. We have here in the chamber today, a literal Nazi. His name is Yaroslav Hunka, a Waffen SS soldier who pledged allegiance to Hitler, All fought against true. our allies in the Soviet Sorry. Union, and was complicit in the Holocaust. All this, <laughs> this man's a criminal. There he is. There he is. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey great job. Not a great look. This guy, the, the, the Speaker of the House there, he had to resign, actually, for inviting a Nazi to Parliament. For inviting this Nazi to Parliament that Zelensky was standing up and cheering. Hey, guys, if the man fought against the Russians in World War II, which side was he on? And he was living in Ukraine. Which side was he on? Ukraine is a big-time Nazi problem. Ukraine has absorbed the Azov Battalion, which is a white nationalist battalion, into its armed forces. Like, every single day, there's new footage of these guys with white nationalist imagery and everything, like, all over, like, not a little Nazi imagery all over the, their, their gear and what, uh, you know, how, what they're going into, out to war to fight. They don't care. They don't care. Before the Ukraine war, there were all, every publication from the left was like, Ukraine has a Nazi problem. Ukraine's white nationalist problem. Blah, 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 blah. Now, suddenly, nobody cares. Maybe that's part of why they're like, Zelensky, maybe you should uh, stay the hell away. Because you keep standing up and clapping for literal Nazis. Yeah, maybe not not the right time. Especially when Holocaust uh, survivors were some, some of the people killed in the uh, more recent attacks. Of course, this has nothing to do with what Zelensky wants to do. Zelensky wants to go there in order... He, he, he's getting the old, tingle, the old tingle up his nose that there is uh, potentially more American dollars being left around. Uh, and that uh, uh, th that could 
you know, be the next hit of American cash money. And he is desperate to link the Israeli uh, conflict with the Ukrainian conflict and then get them both funded. Fighting two wars and two different continents at the same time, that's an empire killer. We shouldn't do it. We should stay out. We should stay out. We shouldn't fund Russia. We shouldn't fund Hamas or Iran. And we should stay the hell out of these other countries' affairs. Their border disputes should be, the border disputes of other countries should be like, maybe last on the list. Like should come 1,000 places down before our own border. So American border, American border, American border, American border, a thousand times until we get to some other nation's border. But that's not the way that our government thinks because there's no money there. And these people are all criminals. And this is all a money laundering scam. So time to break up this cartel. The faster you realize that all governments are simply organized criminal cartels, the easier your life will be. And then you will, you will know um, who your enemies are. Yeah, we got a lot of work to do here at home. So good, keep Zelensky out of there. Guy does not bring any. That, trust me, as an American taxpayer, that guy doesn't bring any uh, any uh, any good vibes to anything that you're doing. So smart Israel, stay smart. It's your boy Benny. Like, share, and subscribe to End Communism.